Hi, so today we are looking at um, another experiment which is the solar geometry study uh, of solar angles on any day. Um, so if we have to simulate um, any other day and have to look at uh, the solar angles that is the azimuth and the altitude angles on that day, this study addresses that. So um, for this experiment we will these we will need these equipments here uh, firstly this is the base panel on which um, the things are going to be kept uh, then this is the swivel base this the i mean this is a uh, this is designed to swivel uh, then this is the base plate on which the assembly will be mounted then there are two two equipments that are going to be useful. Uh, this is the sun path tracer, um, and the other equipment here is the sun dial. So we will look at the assembly of this experiment. For which first we will look at the assembly of the sun path tracer. So this is the sun path tracer as uh, you can see here there are markings on the uh, on the downside and there are also markings there is a movable arm which also has marking uh, markings here as well. So what we will do is uh, to assemble this here you can see a slot this uh, this movable arm will go in the slot and simultaneously there is a hole provided here which goes inside this notch so i will so this has gone inside this i will tighten this screw here the screw is tightened and now i can I can also tighten there is a screw to tighten uh, here as well so that I can lock this movable arm as well and here this arm can rotate uh, on the base. So this is the assembly of the sun path tracer here which we are going to use in this experiment. Now uh, we look at the base assembly. So for the base assembly I will just turn this plate here. I will take this swivel base and there are two, two sides to this swivel base. The slide which, which has a slot here will go uh, on, on this plate. So here I am just inserting this and sliding it and this is fixed now. Then the second part I will take the base plate, I will look at this slot and I will match this here it is gone now I will just turn this assembly upside down and I will keep it plain for now This is the base assembly and the third thing that I am showing you is the sun dial. This equipment here uh, has to be matched with north and this is the slot for sun dial. So it goes here, it, there is a magnet assembly, it, the magnet will directly hold this sun dial here. So this is the place. This is the complete assembly. Now we will move towards the procedure of the experiment. So I have this setup here and the first thing I will do is I will match this base to the north uh, using a compass. So I have used a compass in my phone and currently I have matched it with north as you can see here. Now the second thing which I will do is I will note down the date and time for which I want to conduct this experiment on. So let's say um, I want to look at summer time say March 30th 
30th March at 11.30. So at on 30th March at 11.30 a.m., um, what is going to be the sun's path or what is going to be the uh, uh, angles that is uh, azimuth and az altitude angles of the sun on that day at that time so if you have to look that first we are we have identified the date and time second thing which i am going to do i am performing this experiment in pune and currently it's around 12 uh, pm in the afternoon um, so i am sim and and it's the date is december 19th so i am simulating for march 31st um, now the first thing that I'm going to do, uh, I will use this sundial. Uh, so the sundial, what it does is, it shows me uh, for, so if, first of all, if I uh, adjust the latitude of this place according to this scale here. So if you can see there is a scale provided. So in Pune, the latitude is around 19 degrees. What I will do is I will match this latitude with 19 degrees and I will match it with north and I'll keep it here. So once we match this sundial with the latitude of the place and again match it with the north here, what it will give me is the date and time of the uh, current day so as you can see i just mentioned that it's december 19th 12 pm right now uh, so you can see the needle it is falling somewhere around 12 and if i draw a line laterally it is just below the 22nd december which which gives me the date around 19th december which is today's date and uh, the needle uh, will also give me the time so now we want to simulate the date and time that we just said, 11.30 uh, p.m. at uh, March 31st. So what I'll do is I'll tilt this base. Till I get that time and date. Here. So now you can see that the shadow of the needle is falling around 11.30 a.m. here and when we draw a parallel um, to the date, it is falling somewhere around uh, March 31st line. So approximately this is going to be the sun profile uh, from here. The sun. This is going to be the sun's rays and the sun profile on that day at uh, that time. Now the next part here, since we have to look at the solar angles on that day, we will make use of the sun path tracer. As we have just seen that the, the base scale here will give us the azimuth angle and the vertical scale here will give us the altitude angle. So once we have adjusted this, this table and we are getting the sunlight on that particular day, we will match the north here from this side we will match north and we will place it here we have to just hold it because uh, it, it might fall off so once we have done this sun is coming from that side now to 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 match this arm with the sun this indicator with the sun what we have to do is um, eliminate the shadow of this arm, which we are just going to look at uh, from the close up. So to, to match this, this arm with the sun, we will be looking to, to match this, um, to, to eliminate the shadow that we can see on the bottom side, to be able to um, to match this arm. So what I'll do is I will just adjust this arm such that I don't get any shadow of the sun. So now you can see that the shadow is almost eliminated and we can say that 
this azimuth and this altitude here will be the um, will be on that day and at that time now just to 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 look at this the base scale on the base scale we have an altitude uh, we have an azimuth of around 165 degrees north uh, as you can see the marker and to look at the altitude what i i'll do is um i'll just zoom in into the slot here and i'll look at the center of the hole to get uh, an idea of about the altitude so currently it's 73 degrees this is going to be my altitude for that day at that time so this whole setup is giving me the az azimuth and altitude angles for a particular date and a particular time if i just change the tilt of this base without disturbing the north and matching this needle with any other date and time i can i can look at i can see uh the azimuth and altitude angles on that day and on that time however um there is one small drawback about this whole setup is that it cannot go as you can see it cannot be go beyond a certain point the tilt angle cannot go beyond a certain point because if if we would have given it more uh, leeway this this base would have fallen off uh, and that's why there are only a few i mean uh, i mean there is a limitation on the number of days and uh, number of times that we can simulate through this setup however we can we can uh, play around with this setup to to look at how we can um, get different days and times um, through sundial and this tilt based setup thank you